Move on to the Gold Cup. So, and uh, this is obviously on the Friday, the last day, and it's it's a, it's a tough one to try and sort out. My bite has been, you know, there or thereabouts in terms of favouritism all year, seven to two. Ever since he won the RSA, I think he was he was straight in and favoured last year. But we know what he did last year in the RSA, and he is a bit of a headbanger, Robbie. So, I suppose the question mark is how is he going to handle the three and a quarter? Miles, and also, you know, how switched on is he going to be? Because Nicky Henderson said, look, he's a, he does have that tendency to go a bit mad during races. Do you think he's a worthy favourite? Um, he probably is, yeah. Um, he won a Mickey Mouse race, first him up in Sandown, a graduation chase that Nicky was able to take the, use his second season novice status and, and get a nice race into him where he had no competition. He then went and won the King George. I'd have huge reservations over the form of the King George. I don't think it was a strong race. Um, but he went down and pinged the last, and he looked to win with plenty in hand. Well, he beat what Bristol to my and T for two, was it? He like it, it, it beat um, T for two. Double, oh, shuffle, double shuffle, sorry, yeah, double like shuffle. Yeah, twelve, 12 year old, shot. you know, twelve year old. Um, so will he get up the hill three and a quarter miles? He's by Scorpion as well, so he's bound to have the quirk. But as well, he's bound to be better on better ground. So if the ground got very soft, I'd say Mike Bite will struggle. Um, if the and if the ground is on the good side, then. You'd see the best of him. Uh, he nearly threw away the, the RSA last year, as everyone has seen loads yeah. of times. I was impressed with Native River this year. I thought he made a nice comeback. He's had a totally different preparation. Same as Sison and John. He's had a totally different preparation this year. He's going there, a fresh horse, has had yeah. one run. If the ground is on the soft side, it'll increase his chance. And then our Duke, he was had a, an, an unfortunate start to the season. He picked up an injury and then... He come back. I thought he was running a good race in the Irish Gold Cup when he made a mistake at the second last. Um, and I think he would have gone very close that day uh, and was very, very impressed with him. Then the last day in Gorn, I mean, he, he made a bad mistake. Four out was probably my own fault. But then when the gun was put to his head down over the last three fences, he jumped really, really well. His jumping's not an issue. Noel Feely was in this morning, sat on him. Noel was delighted with him and delighted how nimbly he felt over his fences. He jumped three fences on him and was absolutely delighted with him. So I, I honestly think, look, I hope Sison John goes back and defends his crown. He's in great form. Um, it'll be great to see a horse. No horse has done it since Best Mate to go back and win a second Gold Cup. Yeah. Um, so I remember when Best Mate was going back the second time, there was question marks over him as well. So hopefully this guy can go and do it. He's, he's the, the quickest horse out of all of these. Um, and hopefully if the, if the ground is nice, he, he, he'll go and do it again. I had a few friends texting saying, oh, you know, which is Robbie going to shoot? But just to clarify, I mean, you're the Pots retained rider, so you're, you were always riding Sison John. There's no choice for you to make, was there? No, there wasn't, and it's like the same as Ruby had a couple of years ago when he rode Cotto Star instead of them. And yeah, like Size and John's work at home has been so good, I couldn't get off him. He's been there, done that. Our Duke has never left Ireland yet. Yeah, I don't think he will go over there, and and the atmosphere will get to him or that there. He's not that type of horse. He's laid back, but it's it's another thing that he has to overcome as well. You know, where our Duke has done it, or Size and John has done it. So, um, look, it was never really up for discussion. Um. Uh, Jessie didn't actually even ask me the question. She just said, I'm getting Noel Feely to ride our Duke because she knew that I was never going to get off him as long as he was healthy and well. Okay. Ted, who do you like in this? You can make a case for an awful lot of them. Native River, as Robbie said. Yeah, it's, it's a wide open gold cup as such. Yeah. Uh, Mike Bites, a classy horse, goes a good gallop. To do what he did last year in the RSA was an amazing thing to throw it away half his up the run in yeah. and go on and win. He's a bit of a monkey. And you'd would have you, to that have worry to you? Your head. Yeah, it would worry you big time when he jumps the last there. Uh, he's got to be in a good position. If he jumps it and they come to challenge and he's outside and he can't see where he came out, he could run a straight line. But if he jumps it in front and the boys behind aren't going to help him and he sees where he came out, he could start drifting again. And as you start drifting and don't go on a straight line, you're in trouble. He, he went to do it over hurdles he as did, well. Yeah, he he's, a, there's he's a, novice. a bit of a monkey. He always has been. He's a quality horse now and he's loads of gears and he goes a ferocious gallop and he jumps like a stag. And if you could be sure that he'd give you everything that was in his heart and soul, he'd be a hard horse to beat. But that's the question, Mark. Uh, it's just a pity sizing John um, had that setback at Christmas. Do you know what I mean? Because I thought after winning at Punchestone, yeah. oh, really, we're going to see another Gold Cup horse again. It was a good performance to beat Jack Adam. Uh, they say he's over everything, as you heard Robbie speak there. He's a hell of a good horse. He's a classy horse with loads of speed, jumps like a stag. And at 6-1, to one, unless he completely underperforms, he won't be out of the first three. 
you know, and he wanted completely on the farm. And if you don't like him for some reason, Native River won't be out the first three either at six to one. They're two good each way bets at six to one. Willie also has um, Colota Vic and um, Total Recall entered. W- would you would you half fancy any of those? I wouldn't really. I think no. uh, I think Ruby thinks Colota Vic has a chance. I don't know really how you'd make a case for a horse. And he's tr- he's all jumping his suspect. Yeah, he fell last time out. Yeah, but... Look well coming was, into yeah, it. Yeah, but he was a, a, a bad fall. He was going to fall from the time he left the ground. You see the picture of Paul Townsend. He screwed up sideways. His old arse is up in the air, and he's that way. Yeah. Like, he's not as if he caught the top of it. I thought he was it, gone. He kind of threw himself at it. Yeah. And uh, David... Um, Derek O'Connor was tracking him down the back, and he said that he wasn't great at a few down the back. I didn't notice him, but he said he was alongside him and Ed Wolf. He said he was awkward enough. I think he's, he can be good... But I think he's a good horse. But I think he's jumping. Very little experience. And I think Total Recall uh, won off a nice weight. I think 12 stone on his back. He could have an each way chance. But it's a fair step up now for a Gold Cup horse. Might bite Native River and Sizing John and our Duke. Well, the three in, I think the three in front might bite a Native River and Sizing John are three good horses. The top fella is a bit of a monkey. So to me, it's Native River, Sizing John. And obviously, being an Irishman, I'd be roaring me. Yeah, holds off for one of ours to win. Absolutely, Johnny. I know. Look, you're you've you've obviously uh, you're, you're invested in our Duke, and you must be happy that he's getting there with a real live chance now. Um, Joseph O'Brien's been quite sweet on Ed Wolf, given that he won last time, you know, at fifty to one, which is incredible, really, the way that everything happened. Is there anything that stands out in the race to you as as a good bet now? Um, yeah, the prices look about. I think my my bite has an awful lot of questions to answer here. Like, I mean, he's never run against Native River. He's never run against Size and John. He's never run against Our Duke. He's never run against Kolaltovic. He's never run against Total Recall. Um, he has to prove. Nicky Henderson said today, if he could, he'd declare one cheek piece on him, you know, so that he won't kind of <laughs> run out that way. And he said, I don't know how you put in the race card. Trying to keep him away from that Guinness tent yeah. as well. Apparently, <laughs> yeah. the, the smell of Guinness got brought him over the um, right last time. I, you know, could declare. Cheek pieces and accidentally the other one come off when he's on the start. <laughs> he's hitting Fox Rock now. No. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I mean, I mean, he could, he could, he could declare the cheek pieces. That wouldn't make any difference. Do you know what I mean? I think, I think he was only joking, but he also has Nico de on him. You know, if you're talking about the likes of Ruby Walsh or Nico, you know, I don't know. I'd be, I, I'd be all over our Duke here to be honest. I think. Why? Uh, I, I think he's huge ability, and the best performance he produced was on good ground. And that was when he won the Irish Grand National. Yeah. When he ran away we with We were the there for that and he was very impressive. Um he but was very impressive. I, I think he's I think he's, an, he's he's crying out for a test like this. Noel Feely hasn't ridden him but he got his school of him today. Um it might be you know I think Robbie was always going to right size and John but I think our Duke is a fine big horse. I think he's a huge chance. Leon very open race, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, it'll be make a, a case for a lot of them. Listen, it'll be the biggest betting turnover over the week. Nobody's mentioned Road to Respect yet. Yeah, Road to Respect. Yeah, Won well, Leopardstown um, Christmas. He did. Um, he was a winner there last year, over two and a half miles. Just a big, big step up. I think the best form for a Gold Cup is last year's Gold Cup, without a shadow of a doubt. You've just got to look at last year's race. Yes, RSA is not bad though. That's fairness. not bad. But listen, last year's Gold Cup to me is the best form, and I think Native River goes there with a completely different campaign. They've kept him very fresh. Last year, you must remember, he won a Welsh National, he won a Hennessy, and he definitely got tired in the running. He had a long season. He had a long season, but he still ran an absolute blinder. Um, Size and John has just different gears to the rest of them. And I think if it comes up good ground, that two-mile form when he was chasing Duvan, when Duvan was at his pinnacle, he just has that extra gear. I'm a huge fan of our Duke. He won our National, uh, the Boyle Sports Irish National. He was very good. But I don't think it was good ground that day. There was a little bit of give um, at Fairy House last Easter Monday because they were very worried, connections, about the ground being too quick. So I think there was enough, enough give in the ground that day. Again, like what Ted said earlier, wait until the day. See what the ground is going to be because some of these horses will be inconvenienced by good ground. Some of them will be inconvenienced by soft ground. A horse that I was mightily impressed with, if it came up anyway soft to heavy on the Friday, on, Cham- on um, the last day at Cheltenham, Trials Day, was definitely red. And I just thought if it yeah. came up if it came up soft to heavy at sixteen to one, he might just run a race at a big price. But I'm sticking with size and John if it's good ground. No, me did say he he does have a small question mark over whether Rotors Road Respect will stay the three and a quarter, I suppose, which is a, maybe a slight negative against him. Kalultovic as well.